Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about two new features in Bifrost 2.4. Two small features, but I think they're quite useful. So, the first one is more of a fix than a new feature. So, if you remember, the set point shape node has this numeric um, option here. And previously, if I duplicate this, I'm going to set it to numeric plug it in, it would only work on vector three um, properties. So you can see here, you can see the vectors and they used to work in the old version, but now we can also use other data types. So for instance, if I wanna find out which point has which ID, I can just create a property here I'm going to call it point ID and I'm going to get the array indices like that. Now if I set this to point ID I should be able to see those. And so that's quite handy because you don't always know how things are ordered now, the second thing that is really useful is a node called sort array with indices. So let's use that. Um, but first, I want to actually animate these guys to demonstrate this a bit better. And I've got this compound here. It's basically using the compound that I showed in another video, so I won't go into it here, but uh, you can watch this if you don't want to know more about it. So let me hook this up. I'm just going to unplug this for the moment. Mm. I'm going to take the point position, I'm going to add to it the animated point positions. Uh, like that. And I'm going to set point position, these new positions. And what we should see is the points moving up. So this is, these points are just moving up one unit in Y and they're staggered. Um, and that's because of the step size attribute here. I can control it with this. And then there's also an F curve to control it. But anyways, and these points are moving first because of the ordering that we just looked at. Now, if I wanted to change this, let's say I wanted this center point to be the first one and then I want these points to move up sort of radially so that the points that are further away from the center are the last to move. I would have to resort the array, right? So we can do this with this node. And um, well because it's at the origin I can just take the length of the point positions and order it based on those. So I'm going to do that, length. Then I'm going to order this array. And now I can use these indices from sort array with indices to reorder my point positions. I hope that makes sense. Get from array. these positions, those indices. And now basically I just want to plug in these new, this new array wherever I have the point positions previously. So this, this, and this. And what we should see is 
the point positions moving radially. And so hopefully you can see that this node is going to be quite useful for all so sorts of things. Um, you know, you can sort your arrays by all kinds of different criteria.